Staying in the motel, where's Alabama? Yeah. The operation happened on a Monday afternoon in late March. Please You'll never catch my ass in Alabama. I'm scared, especially as a, a black person. Between five and as a for sex you know what I'm saying? Now, at this point, you might be asking me, Tommy, why the heck are you going to this place? <laughs> what I say to you is this. My job is to discover the underworld, to go off the beaten path. Yeah. I don't stay in the resort. I don't go to the touristy spots. Yeah. I go to the places where things where really niggas go don't want to go. Let me give some context about me and the boys. You going into this booming. episode, we had been on the road for a while. Make sure sure we'll Make Walk it from Atlanta to Alabama, and now we were on the road heading towards Tennessee. So at this point, we were tired, slap happy, and ready for whatever the Bama. Speaking of Tennessee, as a subscriber, you'll be the only 10 I see. Ain't could throw it up. That shit was lame as hell, boy. That shit was lame as hell, boy. Oh my god. <laughs> Ain't that the shit uh, where lobby to walk into? Texas, not Texas, motherfucking. It's a glass window. You go up to get your room. A drive-through <laughs> room service. A double, double queen. What? I got one room with a double bed, and it's strictly no smoking room. We don't smoke. No pets and no smoking. No pets. No pets. Nope, we don't have any pets. Okay. Hi, bro. Do people often bring pets here? I mean, yeah, some sneak their pets in too. Is this bulletproof glass? <laughs> oh my god. What room did we get? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good one. What the <laughs> f are we doing here? <laughs> what I the thought of my thought I thought like thuggery. I thought like white trash. This place is a shit <laughs> We finna have What the fuck you mean by that, Tommy? Thuggery. There's a lot of err in that thug. Thuggery. The fuck you mean? You're, on, you're skinning on thin ice, pal. No stuff. <laughs> thin ice. First sign of trouble. What the hell is that? That is for rats. Cool. This is this is perfect. Isn't it? Someone was using tin foil and lighting it to burn that. That's not a good sign. For security, we have our car parked directly in they front of the room. We have fucking lovely, masking uh, tape. Duct tape to tell us which door is ours. Well, we didn't get that luxury here at this. How much per sandwich. night, bro? How much per night? That's what I want to know. At least 15. That's what I'm paying. <laughs> it doesn't work. We're going to have to barricade this door. Here's our next step. We have to figure out if it's safe bug wise. Don't sleep on the bed, bro. Bed bugs. I'm bed bugs, bro. Oh, Food. Are these cigarette burns, dude? I thought this is a bug at first. Someone just burned cigarettes through this. You know how much bodily fluid is here? Oh, first hair. Honestly, it could be worse. <laughs> Look. Is that a roach? Yeah, it's a roach. Oh, oh what the? What the? <laughs> is this blood? What the? How fuck? are there so many holes? Like, are people just lighting cigarettes in the I love blood. That shit needs to. I would not make oh. a hot pocket. Oh. Not bad, minus whatever this is. Now the luxurious bathroom. Kids, you know why you don't smoke? Pretend this was your lungs. It started off nice and whatever cream color. That should make my body itch. It's on there. Now you can't breathe when you want to play sports. You know what? The shower is like you can definitely. Oh. Uh. First live bug. Now we have to figure out how are we sleeping in here? What are we going to do for How much is that shit for per night, bro? It can't be more than $15 suit, a night. Tuck it into our socks mm. with a hoodie and just lay on top of the sheets. Get the tarp. Think we get a tarp? Yeah. <laughs> Think we should get a tarp? Yeah, a tarp. Burn that bitch down. Yeah. Burn it down to the ground. Contact some of these pictures so he can confirm for us. Just because of the reviews that we've read, I'm gonna preemptively call pest control to see mm -hmm. if I can schedule an appointment for tomorrow morning. Thank you for calling Cook's Pest Control. Can we text you pictures of what we encounter? Yeah, I'll be glad to identify something. If you send me a picture, I can tell you what uh, what it is. I got your bro, picture my, my, my message back here. Is I'm itching, not bro. 95 percent sure. They all appear to be German roaches. German roaches. Now, how the fuck? How the fuck you get German roaches if we in the United States? I'm playing dumb, guys. Come on now. I'm smarter than this. <laughs>
it's, it's a tricky uh, mess to get rid of, but it requires a special service, and it's definitely something that wouldn't go away with one treatment. The owners of the hotel need to know about it. How long are you staying in that room? As least amount of time as possible. Make sure you take your suitcases, inspect them thoroughly. They're definitely breeding in the unit because there's nymphs and adults. So if any of those eggs get laid in your belongings, you're going to carry them along with you. I already just feel itchy right now, sir. I understand. The staff um, needs to know about it. I appreciate oh, they know. you they know. getting back to us real quick. And I, hope you have a good night. I would call you again, but I don't want to bug you. You're, you're fine. Snitch, like, leave me alone. Send me the pictures. Alright, let's get our checklist together. We're for sure gonna need like a sweatsuit and cheap clothes to wear. Drink water, bitch ass nigga. You're dry, okay? You're dry. Drink water stuff. Put put down the minute maid, put down the lemonade, put down the strawberry lemonade, put down the sweet tea, put down the Arizona, put down the bev, bro, and get some water. Put, get some in your system. Your piss look like, look like, yeah. Okay. Drink water. Where that we can throw away and incinerate afterwards. <laughs> Number two, we're gonna need security. So some sort of door jam and keep someone from entering our door. That was a common Nigga, complaint. I would not stay in that mouth. Enter your room while you're in it. I am Toilet too bougie. Because we're not bringing our own shit in here. Me personally, I'm too bougie for that shit. We're trying to not touch Fuck, the sheets like in our body. So we're getting a tarp so we can sleep on top of that. So that's not gonna let you sweat a lot since it's plastic. Where's where she but from? We're experimenting. Where's she from, Jamaica? Eating my bugs, right? Oh, yeah, St. Lucia. Sure. We have an extra spot in the room if you want to join. <laughs> auntie, hire me don't do security. auntie. Yeah, always. This is Alabama. <laughs> Let me show you where the tarp is. I'm from Jamaica. No, you sound like you're from Alabama. <laughs> we're sleeping in the same room, but it's not like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> is this, what do you call that series on TV? Um, um, how I Met dirty My Jamaican drugs. Wife. <laughs> Um, he spin, he spin. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. He spin though. He spin, auntie. <laughs> yeah, auntie. <laughs> no, ninety day fiance. Yeah, <laughs> you put it against. My mom loved that show. This episode is sponsored that show. by Brinks Home Security. <laughs> if you have drug addicts trying to bust into your room at night. Brinks, home security. Let me show you the reviews. This place is ghetto. Someone was smoking crack downstairs. <laughs> they had a lot of baby roaches. I wish you all the best, okay? And may God be with you. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> you need it more. We're not wearing any of our clothes into this room because we're not crazy. So we need to buy full sweatsuits and socks. We're filming an episode for the Travel Channel. We're staying in the Alabama Inn. Are you guys familiar with that place? Oh, you poor guys. We have a tarp. We're going to put over the bed, and we also have a um, security lock. Are we missing anything from our equation? I'm going to go to Bama. Uh, a gun? Gang, gang. All right. Be safe. Uh, okay, gang, gang. There's something you want to tell us, Tommy. Uh, I'm fucking with you. We didn't want to change at the motel, so we're changing the Walmart parking lot where it's safer. Mm. The one thing we didn't anticipate That's a nice is color blue. a faction of bloods stationed at this motel. We're wearing all blue. We don't want to get it bopping. We don't want there to be a bobbery. It's actually <laughs> resulted. We don't want to get... Uh, we don't want to get bidnapped. We don't want to get bidnapped. We don't want to get band buffed and baped. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey! Do you guys think this is a good idea to stay at the worst motel no, in Alabama? No, no. no. Do we look suspicious right now? No. She got a juicy pop, okay. bro. That's how you know they kids, bro. Look I've had a, no, no. I've had what juicy pop since middle school, nigga. Very good. Cool. Very cool. Middle I'll show school, you guys bro. Milwaukee dance moves. You heard them commercial, bro? Oh, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get into it. <laughs> Phase one is to scout out what we're working with. We're going to send up the drone, and we're going to see, assess the situation. So Miguel is launching the drone. Yes, sir. He's sending the drone behind enemy lines. One element of being stealthy is to not draw any extra <laughs> attention to yourself. This happens every once in a while. <laughs> Let's go into the command center. Brigadier General Miguel, what do you see so far? Who the fuck is that? That guy in the ledge. I didn't know. <laughs> 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 Is he throwing up game <laughs> Yo. 
That nigga telling my homies to throw that shit down the toilet. This place is crawling now. too, by the way. I think this is what the police would call a hot spot. <laughs> oh my god. It's one thing to stay at a motel that doesn't take care of you. Probably think it's the shit. cops, bro. Totally Analyzing the, the, the area. You feel like you might die. <laughs> People are gonna think when they. Step into Wix Studio, the new web creation platform built. Government. I'm like a SWAT team, bro. I was to say that objectively, we look ridiculous <laughs> right now. We all have Scooby Doo socks on, baby blue fire. suits. Now the, the baby blue is fine. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> right. Me personally, I, I have me a baby blue Nike jumpsuit. Yeah. Bedtime preparation, boys. Hey, bitch, you know what the fuck going on? If you get out of line, we gonna get your ass gone. Put your ass on a shirt. I ain't talk a sleeve long. Kick that bitch out the bin. Bitch, you suck the D wrong. It's 2023. I just... Should we test it? Where you go outside, I set it up, and you try and break in? Yo, sure, but be don't get a light munched. Light breaking in. I need... There you go. The plan now is just to relax a little bit. We've been on the road. We've been went from Milwaukee, Boss. Chicago, Atlanta. Can I leave that on YouTube? Tomorrow we leave to go to Tennessee we'll and then back to Milwaukee. So this is a road trip. <laughs> Damn. All right, let's test the sink. Strong force on the sink. Do they have towels here? And do we use I would, I would, I would not. There's no towels. <laughs> My secret to going to sleep fast every single night is reading a book. Sometimes it's a biography. Sometimes this is a classic, all right? This is an absolute classic. A book can just take you to a whole nother world. Sometimes mm. you're in a tough area, tough situation. Yeah, start reading you you illiterate ass world. niggas. Good night, folks. I'll see you in the morning. Read a book. You see that shit right there? I got books in that motherfucker. I don't know if you can read that motherfucker right there. Books. Bitch ass niggas. Was it at our door 100%? 100% that was at our door. Yeah. I heard it like right next to my head. Mm -hmm. So they just tried to see if we were, I think they just tried it. The Google reviews did say <laughs> that people try and get into your room around here. I keep kind of hearing something. Why are you like, here, bro? Like, like, I understand the content, but yeah. three hours or Me personally. Prime crime hours from midnight. Is that a woman screaming? 100% a woman screaming. From midnight. So far, no bugs, though, right? I feel like it's been a bug-free night. Come on. I'm getting out of there expeditiously. Long, long night. Let's explore. Oh, he's going fast. Oh, that ketchup packet? What the fuck? Oh, there's one over here, too. Really? Bro. This is not acceptable. That looks like one of my ops. We didn't have towels. A roach. The sheets were dirty, gross, and there's bugs in our room. Let's go confront them. Morning. Get a refund, bro. Guess what? There was bugs all over the room. There was no towels. There was a whole family of roaches. It looks like there was a crime scene on the sheets. Did you know that there was bugs there? No, I mean, the room was clean. Literally, the first step we took in there, we saw bugs. You can come look with us. Thank you. Can we get any towels? Yeah, but the thing is, we don't have towels here on the front desk. How long would it take to get towels? Let's say an hour. An hour? Come on, man. What do you want us to do? We haven't showered yet since we've been here. We checked in at 6 last night. The moment I see housekeeper here, the first thing you do is... Come on, dude. He's just lying to my... <laughs> face. Oh, I'm very sorry. I promise I'm so sorry. <laughs> Dude, this motherfucker didn't give us any towels and he said there's no towels here. Oh, uh, yeah, man. It's the most ratchetest hotel it is, man. <laughs> Look how you park. It's, it's it's Look how you park, bruh. Like, uh, what is you uh, doing? Yeah, man. It's the most ratchetest. Booty all on the other side of the. <sighs> Shit. I'm telling it is, man. <laughs> it's it's dude, crazy, man. Dude, we moved in. We saw roaches. Then I go talk. I'm like, hey, man, uh, you know there's bugs there. And he's like, oh, I no, see bugs like that. Keepers were in there. I'm like, no, <laughs> literally, like, from step one into the room, we saw. I, I moved up out of here. It was a big-ass rat. 
It was a big ass rat that was up under my sink. Big ass rat that came up under that. My daughter got scared and jumped on the bed and I told him they didn't do nothing about it. So I moved out and I moved to the um the Southern Comfort down there. That's way better. I'm gonna keep it real. It's drug infested. Damn near everybody died of fentanyl in this motherfucker. What the fuck? Is on investigation, bro. <laughs> what? Swear to God, bro. Swear to God. They will not give you a refund. After 15 minutes, you done um, checked in. Say if you give them your money and you go check out your room, like you say, got roaches, rats. 15 minutes go by and then you try to go back, they won't give you a refund. Like, this is the worst hotel in Huntsville to stay at. We're going to keep this investigation going, sir. You have see, a good day. That's why I stayed my ass We're going to see who else is up. Man. Every single door opens up. They didn't give us no towels. Yo, oh, I could rap a little bit. Ready? Okay. Yo, it's Tommy G. I'm Tommy the playing with his game. life. Let me tell you how many bugs oh, I, I saw. I don't seem like he don't play that. In my room. It may, maybe want to sleep in a tomb rather than in my room because I felt a little nasty. But then I didn't feel great like Great Gatsby. Oh, so I went into my shower. I guess what there was? There was a roach. So of course I jumped really far. So I didn't touch the roach. But I still touched it once or twice. I rolled the dice. We slept on tarps tonight. You don't lie to him. That's a good question. Do you think this place is up to expectations? Everything could do an upgrade, you know. All right, sir. Well, hey, stay safe. I hope you had a good night's sleep. All right, take it easy. Who is there? Dude, we still haven't gotten our towels in this. Oh, shit, bro. What's up? Hey, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Reserve them. <laughs> Why? Hey, we checked the next. Oh, I don't want to make any assumptions. Five, five and a half an hour. I'm geeking so hard, dude. I said it was five and a half an hour. It's just now one. I want to cut the camera. I, I think he thinks that's his sister. What would you guys do? Mm. The front desk is crazy. Like they don't have access to towels. That shit don't make sense. Y'all got access to the rooms. Y'all got access to towels. That's like being like. If you know, you know. Uh, just based off his mannerisms, you could just tell, bro. Oh lord. Man, I got, I got, uh, I got gold, but I don't it's have sad gold to accessories. see, bro. Uh, we gotta, we gotta get an extra key that we lost to get to the diamond vault. Like, what the? Do we ask for a refund? They ain't gonna give no refund, dude. Is this place known for? <laughs> no, yeah. Shiesty like, practices. Also, yeah, on got on rolling twenties, crit, man. Like seriously though, like you know how many times me and my girl done checked in and they just trespassed me. I got to know we're like, I'm like, damn, I can't get my money back. Oh, damn, dude, I'm tripping so hard that was my girl. That's an old ass woman. But um, if they run out of rooms, they do um allow you this to reserve hard. spots on their con. The fat, the weed, the crack, the c c c cocaine, and the uh, and the uh, shit. Shit, <laughs> what's that? What's that one shit? Uh, that Walter White shit, crystal, all in one. Free on the con in the parking lot. I've seen him rent out the laundry room. <laughs> what drug is that, dude? He's like psych like, in psychosis, bro. Yeah. I actually feel for both the residents and the owners. Either psychosis. card would be hard heard one to be dealt. This seems like more of a rough I ain't no psychology time, major. Term stay <laughs> kind of a place. They don't have towels. So we should probably just hit the road. Yeah, let's hit the road. The boys got to bond, and that's important. Okay. I think a lot of times in life you bond over the, the difficult things. When you realize that when you go through tough things with people, that's the some of the best memories you'll ever have. I'm angry at the owners, but I also have a sympathy for them. If your client was Mr. Hallucinating on his bike, it would be hard to keep a nice place. That guy is inviting bugs in all day. But do they really care? Did they really clean the room? You don't have towels, dude? Like these are some things that this hotel, you could have won yourself some points, but you didn't. So we're gonna have to go find a truck stop, take a shower, and hit the road. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us on this journey. We'll see you next week. Hey bro, it's your boy Shimon. Uh, follow, subscribe for the free ski. Who don't like free? I like free. Yeah.